Hi. Hi. Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant in Sister Bay, Wisconsin. It is a there place is. that they have the goats eating grass on the roof, and it's right. like this spot that everybody goes. It's a tourist attraction. It's a turn and burn kind of restaurant. Get as many people in and out as you possibly can. We had to wait for like about 40 minutes. And then uh, we got our table and it was just kind of stressful eating, I thought. They're very was, tight in there, so you don't yep. have a lot of room for people to walk around and things like that. They have a nice little gift shop, which I thought was done well. Um, mm -hmm. We've done it, been there, done that. Probably won't go back, right? I won't. No. I won't. No. What did you have? I had uh, Swedish pancakes. Thought I'd try that. And Swedish meatballs. And Swedish meatballs was like one of the meat choices. And I was kind of confused on, I thought you put the Swedish meatballs on top of the pancakes or they served with uh, syrup and butter alongside the pancakes. So uh, well, I'll just eat them like regular pancakes and eat the the meatballs on the side. Meatballs had a, a distinct liver flavor to me. Not your favorite. Oh, no, I'm not a liver person. You ate them though. I ate them. All but one bite. Yep. <laughs> 450 is 450. Peninsula State Park. <laughs> it's so comfy. I didn't bring warm enough. I brought warm clothes, but not like cozy, comfy clothes. They're warm, but they're nicer. Not mm -hmm. for grubbing around at a campground. I only have one good, like, cozy sweatshirt. There. Get rid of the banding. Anyway, so that's the scoop. I said if they could find my size there, we'd buy it. And we bought it, and it was on sale. 
That's it? the best kind. Mm. Why are you hugging your thing? Because they didn't get a new sweatshirt. <laughs> you didn't want one. Uh, too many sweatshirts now. So I think, I mean, we drove all the way through Peninsula State Park. I think we did. There's other roads to explore, and um, what do you think of it? It's big. It's very, very nature-filled, lots of trees, and there's a couple sections that are right along the water that have turnouts so you can park and benches, mm -hmm. so you can just sit there and contemplate your navel <laughs> and the water. Mm -hmm. Today was just a real rough, rough tumble day mm -hmm. on the water. Mm -hmm. Lots of huge waves, and I think we timed our exit from Washington Island just in the nick of time. It was really rocking and rolling out there and got sprayed with water because the waves were coming up and the barge was going up and down. So, <laughs> so that was crazy. That it tickled your tummy, didn't it? It did. Made so, me laugh. Like the water slide or mm. the log flume at yeah. the, the amusement park. So right. anyway, <clears throat> we found our place here at the Peninsula State Park campgrounds and... Right by the bathrooms. They're going to shut them down the next couple of days for a few hours, which is not a big deal because, you know, in there is our toilet. Mm -hmm. So we'll be fine. Yep. We'll get a shower in the morning and have some fun for a couple of nights here and then on to the next state park. Sure. So we're all reservoired up and... Reservoired. Reservation. Reserved guard. up. Reserve. <laughs> Reservoir is a body of water. Well, there's a reservoir out there. <laughs> so, here it's we it. are for a few more days. All right. No cell service, so I guess we're going to have to play some games or read. Showers already? Yeah. Cleaned up already? Yeah. Getting ready to make some cinnamon rolls? I'm excited.
sleep at the campground we're gonna go back there again tonight had some noisy neighbors this morning already and then we decided to bust out of there and and uh, come into town we've been through Fish Creek and that is a uh, huge touristy trap with all the <laughs> boutiques and all the restaurants everything and looks like Joanna Gaines from Fixer Upper. I, I've noticed mm -hmm. how a lot of these little tourist towns are now changing their decor and their architecture and everything to look like Joanna Gaines. It just looks like she's been through here. Everything's white with black accents. It's just interesting to see. Magnolia. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Yeah. So we uh, kind of hightailed it through there and uh, we're in Ephraim. Ephraim or Ephraim. I don't know how to say it. Uh, Wisconsin. Uh, parked at a public parking spot by the bay, a couple sailboats out there, and so we're just uh, getting caught up because there's pretty good uh, cell phone re service here, and Kim's doing a little bit of checking in with her clients, and then after a while we're going to go over to the famous Wilson's Ice Cream Shop. I think they serve lunch, so I hope so, because I'm kind of craving a like a deli sandwich or like a ice cream shop sandwich. Okay, well, we'll check that out and we'll show you all around there. It's pretty famous. You've probably seen it before. But uh, Ephraim is known for Wilson's little shop here. It's like a red barn out on the I beer. saw that. This one right here, this old post office, oh. is the fish boil. And I remember the water right across the street. <laughs> Sorry. What? There's a sign hanging there, it says, oh, sorry. Up from the Shores Resort. The tall. And that is the Wilson's place. Hey, we're at Wilson's Ice Cream Parlor in Ephraim, Wisconsin. It's uh, been here since 1906. It's gone through several ownership changes. Yeah. Can't wait till our food gets here. We ordered the, the All American. Cheeseburgers. Yeah. I got bacon coming on mine and fries, and then we'll see if we have room for some ice cream. They're very known for their red and white awnings. You can see them inside and outside. 
and everybody comes here either for food and or ice cream. And what's the tradition if you get an ice cream cone? Well, I don't know if I should share it or not, but it is one of the things that you'll remember the most if you get an ice cream cone. That was a that was an awesome lunch, old-fashioned cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, fries, root beer, all the good stuff. Mmm, tummy full. Yeah, good full. That was a fun place, like going back in time. Wilson's Ice Cream Parlor, Ephraim, and restaurant, and restaurant. Yeah. Ephraim, Wisconsin, or Ephraim, Wisconsin? How Ephraim, was? she said. It is Ephraim. Yep. See, I thought so. Ephraim, Wisconsin. Awesome. According to the local waitress. Looks like Ephraim. There was a singer once upon a time, Ephraim Lewis. That's why I always call it Ephraim. Spelled the same way. What is he doing nowadays? He's probably calling himself Ephraim Lewis. <laughs> and lives here. <laughs> Lighthouses. I can't help it. I like the real lighthouse. I'm not a lighthouse collector, but I love being at a lighthouse. Here we are at Eagle Tower, Peninsula State Park. Choices to be made. The ramp. Or the tower, 10 flights of stairs. You hate going downstairs more than anything with your knees, so and I have titanium knees. Oh, I was gonna say it'd probably be easier falling down the stairs than it would be trying <laughs> to climb up the stairs. 
So we're gonna try it. We're gonna try going up the stairs and then do the ramp on the way down. Done. My legs are burning already. <laughs> Ready for the second flight of stairs? I don't know. Oh, you can do it. They're pretty easy. I mean, they're like residential stairs. It's Some not places. my leg. Oh, it is. It's my upper quads. upper thigh. It reminds me of track. I couldn't <laughs> do stairs very well. Just keep pulling key. yourself up. I know. Pull, 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 pulling. <laughs> Almost there. It was good. Quite Glad a, we did it. Quite a view from up here. What is this? Eagle's Nest? Eagle's Tower. Tower. Yeah, Eagle's Tower. So, climbed up 10 flights of stairs. You did I, great. I, you did too. I think when you see something like this, you're intimidated because if you're not in shape, you're like, how oh, can I even do yeah. this anymore? And uh, we, did, we did pretty good for <laughs> our fitness level. <laughs> no, I think it was fine. They had nice handrails and mm -hmm. uh, the steps were spaced good so mm -hmm. you could grab the handrails and pull yourself up and yeah. they had a middle section where you could rest and wasn't hardly anybody on the stairs so you didn't feel like you were holding people up so that was a good thing. Yeah. Um, the so color up here is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I think we're hitting it pretty close to peak and nice beautiful sunny day with mm -hmm. a little bit of a breeze here at Peninsula State Park. It's awesome. Yeah. Let's continue on. Heading back to the van, taking the long way home on the ramp.
But we did it. We did Eagle Tower. Eagle Tower. Peninsula State Park, Wisconsin, a must-see state park in my opinion. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Really. It has so many, so much to offer. Yeah, got great camping. Uh, have this tower and viewing area. There's uh, lots of uh, water access. Lighthouse. Lighthouse. Um, lots of hiking trails. Tons of hiking is a good place to bring a bike or an e-bike. Yep. Zip around all over the place and just leave your rig at the campground. I think you can pretty much access all the cool things by bike, depending on where which campground you're in. And honestly, you're not that far from a town either. So if no. you wanted to be on an e-bike, you could bike to town and go grab an ice cream cone and come back kind of thing. Ooh, ice cream cone. <laughs> well, that sounds good. Well, what a great time at yeah. Peninsula State Park. It's one to remember. A um, great mm -hmm. time in fall. You do have some people here, um, especially on a holiday weekend, which is coming up. But uh, definitely a must-see in my book. Right. So uh, we thank you, and uh, we say goodbye to Peninsula State Park. We're heading a little bit south now on the peninsula. Yep. And we'll show you around when we get there. You made it halfway to the North Pole.